All right, guys, let's go. Yeah, yeah, let's go, let's go. Yeah, let's go, come on. Yeah. Howdy, everyone. It's UFO Bob. Right now, I'm hiking a portion of the PCT, the Pacific Crest Trail. I'm hiking under the I-15 freeway and headed towards Crowder Canyon and back to the RV. What's that? A bobcat? Can't see it. The route I'm hiking is in California, located near I-15 and the 138 in the Cajon Pass. As I make my way out of the canyon, I can't help but think of my brother. But that's a story that's coming later. Oh Lord, now I know I'm back in civilization. There is our ride waiting for us. Check that out. All the comforts at home. Here we go. Uh, oh, how many miles did we walk today? Yeah? No, there's a dog that knows how to live life. Oh, by the way, did I mention that this is actually a cleverly disguised alien shuttlecraft and we're going to fly to our next destination? It's 1.5 miles from here. The sun is setting fast, so we've kicked it in the hyperdrive. Well, we've reached our final destination. Mormon Rocks. Named after a group of Mormon settlers who passed through here in 1851 on their way to what is now the city of San Bernardino. Anyway, the reason we're here is to do something solemn. We're here to scatter the ashes of my brother. He died about a year and a half ago but until now, there wasn't an opportunity to come down here and do this. The reason we're doing it here is because my brother was an avid hiker. On several occasions, he and his wife passed through this area as they hiked the Pacific Crest Trail, which extends from the border of Mexico and California to the border of Washington and Canada. My brother was also a rail fan and he would come here often to watch trains. With easy access, multiple tracks, and trains running about every 15 minutes, you can see why it was the perfect spot for him. Well, now it's time for me to say my final goodbye to him. All right, everyone. Uh, we've scattered my brother's ashes. Uh, we didn't want to show this on camera because it was it was a family thing. It was private. Um, you know, it's tough to lose someone you love, a brother, sister, mother, father, wife, whoever. But life goes on. You have to be able to adjust and adapt. I'm lucky. I still have good health. I'm going to be around for a couple more decades, I figure. I got a lot of friends. I get to do this. I have my channel. I get to travel. Yeah. I'm online. I do things like Twitch and YouTube and Discord. And I get to talk with people in different countries. I feel I'm a very lucky man. And, uh, as I said before, this location was a spot that my brother loved very much. He was out here often to watch the trains. That into Hatchby Loop, which is about, uh, from where, we, where I live, it's about a two and a half hour drive. I'm not quite sure where it is from here, maybe an hour, hour and a half. Um, yeah. 
Now, I don't want to be too melancholy here. I actually want to be happy because, I'll be honest, I'm a Christian. And uh, I know that my brothers with Jesus Christ. And I know a lot of you people out there don't subscribe to my position. That's okay, that you're right. I, uh, I wish, though, if you have any serious thoughts about the afterlife, take some time to really look at who Jesus was. He was only one of three things. He was either a nut, a liar, you know, a fraud, or who he says he is, the Son of God. Anyway, I'm going to head on back to the RV. People are waiting for me. Oh, by the way, if you like these videos, please make sure to hit the like button because that really helps get my videos shown more on YouTube, you know, the analytics and the AI and all that stuff. Uh, leave a comment if you haven't done so already. Subscribe to the channel, hit that bell notification. And until next time, this is UFO Bob. Out.